Hey guys, no mind here. Path of Exile Necropolis is going to be the biggest quality of life league in all of Path of Exile history. Let me explain. In this video, I'm going to go over some of the upcoming changes. Uh, so without further wait, let's get right into it. So first we have the Pantheon changes. Basically, uh, Pantheon, any Pantheon you unlock on one character will be available to all characters that you create across the league. So this is super nice. You know, you don't have to worry about working and filling out your Pantheon once you're done with your League Starter and you roll a new character. Again, this is super quality of life, guys. This is going to be insane. Uh, next, we're going to talk about the Horde Crafting Station. This right here, like when you're crafting an item in the Horde Craft Station, before you had to hover over it with a with your mouse click to kind of see the item. Now the item stats are always displayed. As you see here, the item is always displayed right in front of you. So when you hit that craft button, uh, it just kind of shows you what the outcome of the craft is instantly instead of having to hover your mouse over it. Again, that's a, it's a very small chance, but it's super helpful. Uh, next, the Veiled Chaos Orb function. Basically, the icing slime from Betrayal has been moved to the Veiled Chaos Orb, as you can see here. Removes a random modifier and adds a random Veiled modifier uh, to a rare item. And this orb, from what I understand, can only drop from Katarina, guys. So Betrayal, Katarina is going to be more profitable more than ever now. Uh, this is going to be insane because you can only get it, you can only get this item from Katarina now, from what I understand. So, you know, like, you, you might see some very optimized Betrayal setup and Betrayal board farming um i might even test it out this week i might even make a betrayal guide so if you want to see content like that you know leave a comment leave a like all that good stuff letting me know that you want to see content like that i'm definitely going to be doing uh more new player oriented guides this week and betrayal will definitely be one of them i'm also going to do some other guides that i have lined up and you'll see those um as they come out so this is going to make veiled orbs a lot more valuable i'm probably thinking like probably like three three to four divines minimum that's usually what an async craft was um you know depending on how you know how valuable like an async slam is or you know like we don't even know the crafting changes yet guys so you know there might be some big crafting changes coming up in the announcement next week so we never know um i'm just kind of taking this as face value i think this is going to be a major uh win for build the value of like build orbs and, and things like that another betrayal change guys is the crafting bench recipe for adding quality to your flask is no longer available in betrayal it is now the function of a vol orb basically if you use a vol orb on a flask this is going to give your flask a quality anywhere from minus 10 percent to plus 10 percent as you can see here, you know, they're getting lucky. They have a they have a 20% quality flask and, you know, it either goes up, you know, plus 10% maximum or minus 10%. So you can have a quality flask of 30% if you use a ball orb on it and if you get lucky. And the last but not least, another short change to discuss. Crafts that upgrade an amulet to a talisman from Betrayal has also been moved to the beast theory. Um, basically, it's kind of like a beast that you capture. Basically, it will transform your amulet into a talisman. Um, I think talismans are cool. I think they're kind of outdated at this point they are cool like early early league if you find like a really good talisman that works for your character they usually have a bunch of like higher tier stats and everything like that um so you know it's like a good like good stop gap between like the amulet that you actually want but you know league start is always exciting to get like a nice strong item that you might not be able to afford yet and you know talismans are like those night it's like that nice middle ground between like your actual end game talisman and you know like your bad like campaign talisman you know that you or bad like campaign amulet i should say that you had and now guys the most exciting change this is super cool is breach league basically with breach league you see these class pans here you don't have to click on them anymore you just have to walk near them and they will automatically open for you obviously this is super useful um for farming breach content this is a super big quality of life upgrade guys also if you notice in the corner here uh they're teasing vol split arrow here currently there isn't a vol split arrow version in the game so this could be a possible leak starter guys depending on how strong the vol split arrow variant is i always love split arrow um you know i always feel like it was outshined by tornado shot and lightning arrow but hopefully there'll be some balance adjustments in the next patch and maybe split arrow will be a strong contender for leak start next week again like i was saying this is a huge quality of life upgrade if you're farming breach i personally love the breach mechanic i think it's quick you just click a hand um you know you just click a hand and you know just kill all the monsters the monsters drop loot the clasp hands drop loot and now they're easier to open this is an all around, all around win in my situation and i can't wait to maybe test this out a little bit i i love breach content um you know maybe maybe we'll do some breach farming um next week also who knows all right guys and one of the more bigger changes um this is trade related basically um if you hold down control shift and left click it will move all 
copies of that currency from your inventory to the trade window, as you see here. Um, in the past, since, I mean, I've been playing the game since 2016 and you've always had to individually click all the items um, to get them into the trade window. Now all you have to do is control shift left click and it moves all copies of that currency from your inventory into the trade window. Guys, if you've been playing Path of Exile even for a little bit and you've done any kind of trade, any kind of big trade in Path of Exile, you'll you'll realize how big and absolutely massive this change is. I, you know, I don't know if this is going to affect the overall trade economy because you can be way more efficient with your trades now. Um, there have been shady macros in the past, which have kind of, you know, skirted the rules between bannable and not bannable. But, you know, this is like a nice, you know, I love it when a when a change, you know, I, I don't like I don't like modding the games. Any game I play, I don't like modding. Um, I just like the futures to be available in the base game. And that's just my preferred play style. So having something like this being added into the game without going to like an auto hot crease script or anything like that. So this is absolutely a massive win where you don't have to go into like an auto hotkey macro or like, you know, to like access this kind of technology. You just already have it in the base game. Absolutely, absolute W from GGG, in my opinion. And one of the last changes, guys, um, if you hold control and left click, you will be able to use all the orbs until you run out or achieve either the maximum number of sockets or the maximum number of links, in this case, in the orbs of fusings. So basically, you can just hold down control and just hold down left click. Your game will just keep using the orbs of fusing until you get like a six link um, with the item, as you'll see here. Um, this is all automatic. Again, this is amazing quality of life, guys. As someone who's been playing since 2016, I probably clicked in this game probably hundreds and thousands of times uh probably you know i wish there was like a stat for how many times you've clicked in path of exile but i'm pretty sure that that number is probably ridiculous um probably even close to a million i don't know maybe that sounds a little insane but who knows guys and that's it guys thank you so much for watching again make sure you hit that like and subscribe button for the youtube algorithm um thank you so much for all the recent support it's been really helpful and we're gonna be going hard to see guys i have many guides planned for this week for newer players so if you're a newer player and you know you need some guides uh let me know in the comment below and I'll, and I'll make a guide about it. I do have, you know, I plan to cover all the le past league mechanics in PoE in terms of in a very beginner friendly way. So if you like that type of content, make sure to smash that subscribe button and hit that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Um, also follow my stream at twitch.tv forward slash no minds. I definitely will be streaming this league. So make sure you go ahead and follow my Twitch. And if you ever have a question PoE related, you can drop by my stream and I will be more than happy to answer it for you. Or again, drop a comment in the video and I, and I get to those comments as well. I respond to mainly all the comments, all the positive uh, comments that I get in the video. Um, again, Thank you so much for watching, guys. No mind out. Peace.